What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So there is some much needed cleaning that I need to get done around here. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely tired. I have a sick child in the other room. So because she was sick last night, I didn't really get much sleep, but there's definitely things that I've been putting off for a while that I definitely need to tackle. So I'm starting off in Riley's room. Um, she's kind of been sick for the past like a couple of days. So I really wanna just disinfect the room, clean the room. If I have time to even just start to like go through some of her toys to get rid of some of that stuff um, just because she got a whole bunch of toys for her birthday and as the influx of toys come in I definitely want to have a good amount of toys that go out as well um, but yeah I'm just going to be getting as much stuff done as possible I've been still putting off the curtains in the dining area so I'm hoping I can get to that today as well but yes we are starting off in the messiest room in the apartment today and while she sleeps it's the perfect opportunity to go through all of her toys because this way I don't have to worry about pulling out something old that she doesn't play with but she still wants to keep for some reason so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into it I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. I'm starting off by washing Riley's sheets. I really want to spray it down with some Lysol to disinfect everything. Earlier on in the day, we had taken her to Friendly's, and I don't know if you guys have a Friendly's where you live, but it takes me back to my childhood, and I thought it was something that she would actually enjoy, which she did, but unfortunately, because of the congestion and the post-nasal drip, she ended up throwing up all of the food at the restaurant, and I just felt so, so bad for her. And like I had mentioned earlier, Earlier in the intro we hadn't really slept too much the night before just because she was coughing and congested and all of that kind of stuff so we ran to Target to get some soup crackers because I was going to be making her some soup later on in the day and then on the way home she ended up falling asleep so I just laid her in my bed so that she can get some rest and I thought this was the perfect time to tackle and clean her room you felt your limitations and filled your mind with Shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. 
As I was cleaning up Riley's toys and all her bins and things like that, I was really trying to find this little like clear case that I had where I can throw all of her like really small tiny toys like all of like the LOL little shoes and all of that kind of stuff. But at this moment I wasn't able to find where I had placed it but I did end up finding it a couple days later and I really want to figure out a better system within these bins where I can store all of her like smaller little toys and and this way those can all be stored together in the bin and then all of her bigger toys like the Barbies and all of that kind of stuff can be stored separately. At this point, I thought I heard her waking up a bit and she had only really been sleeping for, you know, maybe 20 minutes to a half an hour, but she was just coughing in her sleep. I went to go check on her really quickly, but she was still knocked out. I really just think her body needed to rest and that is exactly what I wanted to do. Just allow her to sleep and feel better. Fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk bites bragging Such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell. 
This is everything that I'm left with. So this is the pile of things that I'm going to give away. And then this is the pile of everything that I'm just going to kind of throw out. I'm not going to throw these out. I'm actually just going to put those, like these nail polishes in the living room where the rest of the nail stuff is. Same thing for the glue. And then that crown is actually an ornament for the tree for Christmas. So I will put that away in the Christmas bin. And then her little mask. I'll put that in the cabinet um, in the front where the rest of the masks are. Everything else is pretty much trash. Um, so I'm gonna throw all of this stuff away, give all this stuff away, and then I have a fun little DIY that we're gonna do for all of the bows. Before we get started on the DIY, all of her clothes had finished drying, so I'm gonna quickly fold them and put them away. So before I do the little quick DIY for her hair bows, I did want to, I guess, tell you guys what I'm looking to do. So she has a small closet and as you guys know, I already put um, this little Ikea cubby thing at the bottom and then I have the baskets from Target and that has been tremendous with like maximizing the space. However, I did think that we could also utilize the door as well. So I used one of these little command strips and I thought it would be cute to put all of her like purses and all of that kind of stuff. But then I completely forgot that we had her belts and then I also wanted to bring that hat down from there as well so I'm actually going to remove this and then put two of them so I'll have one to hang the belts from the little belt hook and then one for her um, bags and book bags and all of that stuff and then at the top we're going to make this really cute DIY like hair bow like organizer thing and I will have that up here so that we can literally just utilize the inside of the door. I 
By this time, Riley had woken up from her nap just in time for us to tackle this inside of the door organizational system. You guys know she always loves helping me out around the house. So we're installing the two at the bottom and then we'll work on the bow organizer in just a bit. Okay, so she has a ton of bows. This was like a pack that I believe I purchased off of Amazon like years ago. If I can find it, I will have that linked down below for you guys if you have little, little girls and they like bows and all of that kind of stuff. However, storing it in here is just not really working for us. We are limited on space here. So I had seen something on Pinterest, which I will put up on the screen to give you guys an idea as what I'm looking to achieve so i picked up this dowel from hobby lobby i want to say it was like a dollar maybe even a little bit less so i'm going to cut it in half i also have some pink pink ribbon that i got from hobby lobby as well and i picked up some um crazy glue i didn't know what else to possibly use but i'm hoping this will do the trick so i started off by just marking where i want to make the cut i'm going to use a knife and i literally just kind of like eyeballed it and put this up against the wall well the door because i didn't want it to be too too big so now i'm going to try and use a knife to cut it Now that I have the dowels cut in half, I'm taking the bows out and lining it to see how many strips I'm going to need and the spacing in between them just to figure out what type of layout I was going for. Then I'm laying the ribbon out for each column and honestly I don't really know too much of what I'm doing but I'm taking the glue and I am kind of rolling the ribbon around the first dowel and then I'm going and doing the same exact thing over the second dowel and I basically just worked my way doing that. I did the ends first and then I started to work on the middle and literally just figured it out as I went along. At the top, I added some ribbon so that we can hang it on the hook.
Okay, so here is the finished look. Of course, this is like a DIY, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I like the fact that I have the extra storage down at the bottom, and then I have all of her bows up at the top. We did want to figure out a way where we could store it actually in her room, but we've just literally used up all of the wall space, so I figured this is the perfect opportunity um, to just utilize the other side of the door in her closet. Okay, so we just got back from the grocery store and then we also stopped off at the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to do a quick grocery haul with you guys. Um, I didn't pick up as much because again, like I said in the last grocery haul that I believe I shared with you guys, I spent like $150, but I got a lot of like, like a big pack of meat and um, also vegetables and all of that kind of stuff. So I figured, you know, the weeks after that, I just have to like pick up like little like filler things, if that makes sense. So. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and sit down and do like a quick kind of like meal plan thing with you guys and let you know like what I plan on eating this week. I picked up two containers of strawberries. They were two for $4. I also got some blueberries. I got some more yogurt. I really wanna do like parfaits um, this week. And I decided to go with the ShopRite um, brand, the bowl and basket, just because like literally I was saving $2 and with inflation, Anywhere I can save, I will go. Um, I got some more cheddar cheese for Riley, and then I got some mozzarella cheese. We needed to restock on apple juice, ketchup, milk, um, and also some tomato sauce. I picked up a little can of relish, two things of tuna fish. I picked up some feta cheese. I have completely forgot that I enjoy these turkey burgers, so I was able to pick these up. You guys, they are so so delicious and I always do the sweet onion seasoned ones they are 240 calories per patty but 31 grams of protein so definitely a favorite of mine Riley wanted to get the dino nuggets but she decided to do the ABC like the alphabet ones which I think is fun so maybe we can do like cute little like words every time she eats dinner or lunch or whatever like that she also wanted to get some cheese it's I picked up some maple brown sugar. The last grocery haul that I shared with you guys, I got the Kodiak cake ones um, that had protein in them. I tried them. I could not get down with them. So I'm going back to my Quaker maple brown sugar ones. I also got these sandwich thins. I actually like to eat them with the turkey burgers. And thankfully enough, I couldn't find the tortilla wraps that I usually get that are like pretty low in calories because I wanted to have the tuna on that. But you know what? The tuna can go on this and this way I don't have to pick up something else. I picked up one red onion two sweet potatoes because I want to make some sweet potato fries and it was literally the hardest thing for me to not get like the pre-packaged ones that were in the freezer section. It's a lot easier to do but they're more expensive and I know that this is going to be a healthier option so I'll make some sweet potatoes and I also needed to pick up some more bread for Riley. Alright, so a quick rundown of what I plan to eat this week. So I find that when I have like so many different options, it's just like overwhelming and I, I don't know, I just do not make the right choices. So I really want to just try something different this week. I really want to give myself 
a couple different options for like breakfast and honestly i'm not even going to lie unintentionally i've been like intermittent fasting like i will go until like 11 12 o'clock before i even had anything to eat hence it's like about to be 12 o'clock and i have yet to even eat anything today um but i wanted to do either like oatmeal with like the strawberries and blueberries bananas we have here as well or i wanted to do um like a smoothie that i can just have in the morning and then i did get some um we have like some cinnamon um raisin bread and just have like a slice or two of that on the side just because like when i have smoothies i do still want to like eat um for snacks, I figured it'd be easier to do like a parfait. I have granola and then to get some yogurt and also add some more like um, fruits. I think that would be nice. And then for lunch, it could literally be like the turkey burgers with sweet potato fries or it can be, um, what else? Oh, I could do the tuna sandwiches. And then for dinner, it's just gonna, basically gonna be like chicken, um, rice and vegetables so i want to keep it super simple super easy i have definitely fallen off when it comes to like cooking and stuff like that hence the reason you really haven't seen me like share any like recipes because like i'm doing the bare minimum when it's when it comes to cooking these days um but i'm trying to get back into it and i'm trying to get like more inspired and my friend and i were actually talking about this and it's almost like with the pandemic like there's so much stuff like what well, one as an adult there's so much stuff that you have to remember and then you have the pandemic and it's like everybody's just burnt out i don't know if you guys are feeling the same way but you're burnt out and there's certain things that you cannot like slack on too much like cleaning um, and all of that kind of stuff like you can't really slack too much unless you want your house looking a hot mess But like when it comes to cooking you can get by by doing the bare minimum You know what I mean? Especially when you have a little one who Only eats so many things you can definitely get by like, by doing like, that Like with a picky The picky yeah like the picky, a picky sometimes either. Yeah, so like she doesn't really require me to make her these like lavish meals so like I kind of just like have been getting by making like quick little things here and there but I'm trying to get back into it let me know if you guys have been feeling the same way just like feeling burnt out and like something has to drop and for me it's been cooking um also I was trying to put the curtains up yesterday and I realized so I have these two pieces because you have to like the window is too long it's the same way like this window it's actually two pieces connected together but I realized there is a small piece that I'm missing that I cannot put these up. So I'm gonna have to head to Ikea. I was trying to see if maybe I can just buy that piece, but it doesn't look like it. So I might even have to just like buy the whole track. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I do just need those two pieces so I can put finally put up these curtains. So I haven't been slacking y'all. It's just that I wasn't able to do that. Also a quick um, outfit of the day. So I got this white dress from Target. I'll check to see if it's still available. I got it a while ago, to be honest. Um, so I got that and then I have a jean jacket from Old Navy, it's years ago, but I'll link something down below. My Michael Kors mommy bag. Um, I also got these cute little um, polka dot, black and white polka dot shoes. I got them from Lord & Taylor's before they went out of business, so I don't think that they, clearly I can't find them online. Um, but yeah, um, earrings from, I think Shein, and then uh, same thing, I think, for the um, the um, sunglasses from as well. Riley, she is wearing a dress from, I'm pretty sure, Old Navy. Shoes, Old Navy. Glasses, probably from the dollar store or a birthday party or something like that. And two hair bows that we decided to choose to wear. Fashionable. And oh, earrings are from, I think they're from Macy's. Macy's. Yeah. 